Um, everybody does recover from their problems that they have in life. And I heard that some of them have addiction problems, just like we do. And we're here to break them and live a normal life, either with our children or just to have, live a happy life in general. We're here either to live a normal life with our children. Or just live a normal, clean, sober life in general. Also, um, you know, as we're talking about children, um, it's going to feel good to be a role model to our children, a positive one at that now, because, you know, regardless of um, the times that we have spent with our kids, um, you know, in, in, in addiction, it's, um, it's not the time that they really deserved, you know, and now we're working on that and, and being a role model to ourselves and being confident is just another thing that is going to come out of just staying strong and, and, and knowing that we can do this now. Other things that people heard, that you have heard so far, they reiterated. Oh, I was just gonna um, like go back on her, her about the domestic violence. A lot of women have gone through domestic violence and we do need to break that cycle and stop making excuses for our abusers because they say they they say over and over again we're sorry we'll get help and all this and we believe them because we're in that because that's all we know as a domestic violence relationship. So we need to break the cycle and move on. Um, I also heard a lot of. Oh. Also in the um, the video, I heard a lot of spiritual hope, you know, for those believers. And I do, you know, myself believe that you can do all things through hope. You know, you can do anything through Christ who strengthens you, you know, and uh, know that everything's going to be okay, you know, through Christ who strengthens you. That you don't have to do it alone. You know, and if you feel down or, you know, you feeling like there's no hope, you know, reach out to someone, you know, to talk to you and help you through all your situations because it's not healthy to do it alone. You know, someone always needs another person at one point in time in their life. Um, I heard that whether you come from a rich background, a struggled background, um, drugs, substance, any kind of addiction, whether it be violence whatsoever, um, has no color bounds, no labelism. It's everywhere in this day and era, um, the century. We're more outspoken and and trying to reach out, so that way we can bake, break. Um, these old these old cycles and behaviors from what our previous grandparents to our parents have learned to being closed closed minded and quiet with secrets and um, drug drugs in the U S are a large epidemic that occur now more than ever. Um, about kids and um, the things they went through, like getting taken away from their families, even though um, us as their parents have made bad choices, we can show them that there's always can change. Things don't have to stay the same by 
taking the initiative to um, better ourselves and to work on ourselves, even though it may be hard and it's a struggle, things can change and our lives can become positive, even no matter what age. Um, I heard the word poverty a lot and knowing that there is like there's a lot more of that than there ever well there's a lot more now that's harsher towards the world than there was before harsher? yeah Um, the admitting, the admitting is the number one thing. Admitting, 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 <laughs> admitting, admitting to yourself, admitting to others, um, in order for you to go ahead and get that, um, that help, that recovery. Because aside from addiction, there is abuse and abuse comes in many forms, um, you know, whether it be physical, whether it be mental, whether it be verbal, we always have to keep that in mind that those are triggers that make you either abuse of the drug or substance or any other thing or uh, simply just stay addicted to it because of by, actually by choice. So um, admitting is one of the biggest things. I also heard a lot of inspiring by the um, by the help that they were getting from the people of uh, I guess the programs that they were that were helping them. I heard a lot of mm, I use the word inspiration again and um, like just a lot of hope from the people that helped them because when they thought that they didn't have nowhere to turn to. I heard a lot about education, which I think um, the message was education is power and power to overcome the obstacles that a lot of them were sharing about, like poverty and, and you know, overcoming certain things in your life that you don't have to give up on dreams that maybe you had as a child. Yeah, because that's one of the things that as we were coming along and I asked, what was the tuition here? <laughs> and uh, Miss, Miss April was like, oh, yeah, very expensive. <laughs> and so, so we tend to look at that as a discouragement, but we always have to remind ourselves that uh, nothing is a discouragement if you're willing to do it, if you want to do it. There is um, resources, right, resources that you can go to to find the help or uh, simply the assistance that we need. We find the assistance to do other uh, wrong choices, poor decisions. Why cannot we? F why can't we find the good decisions or the good resources to find what better future for ourselves? When we're in the wrongdoing, we tend to find the resources for the wrong and poor choice making. So if we're capable of doing that, why can't we be so much more capable of finding the right resources for the right choices for the better future? Um, to piggyback on what she said, yeah. um, I do believe it takes the same amount of effort to do positive things mm -hmm. as it does to do negative. Um, the only difference is, um, you know, it feels a lot better when we put in that footwork and we put in that effort for positive. And I love what she said about um, living life and not letting life live her. 
you know, because it feels good to want to live again. And, and when you go through so much, there's so many times you don't want to live. And, you know, um, you wake up in the morning wish, wishing you didn't. But now, you know, that you have this positiveness in you. It feels good because you know that something good, you're going to achieve something. And it's actually not going to take as much effort as it is to do negative. And it's worth it in the end. Victory, yeah. <laughs> Victorious, I'm just kidding. <laughs>